A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today, I'm completing a correction on these nails here. My client's nails do not only grow upward, but have a natural curve in the center of the nail plate. I have also noticed that as her nails have grown out, the area between the material and natural nail is very noticeable, and I don't like that at all. Therefore, today I will be very careful not to put too much material in this area. This set is a month old, and as I take down the prior material, I am also filing down the material's thickness. The material's thickness on the free edge needs to be completely removed in order to hide the appearance of her nails going up. However, I am completely leaving the thickness of the base. The middle finger's nail is pointed up the most, making it appear a little shorter than her other nails. Therefore, I will have to file her other nails down in order to match the middle fingers. My client is always changing her nail shape, and today has chosen an almond shape. In order to narrow out her nails, I'm taking my nail file and filing the lower sides of her nails. Further, I am simply cleaning up the cuticle area with my nail drill. After having cleaned up the cuticle area with my nail drill, I'm taking a small pair of scissors and removing the dry cuticle. Further, I will once again take my flame bit and use it to buff everything up. I've removed all of the dust and now I am simply applying a non-acidic primer in order to fully dry out her nail plate. Once it has dried, I am applying a base coat in a thin layer. This base coat is non-acidic and I am using it as a backing. 
That thin layer of base needs to cure under the lamp, and then further I will proceed to leveling her nails out with a rubber base coat. I have applied the base coat thinner this time in order not to accent this area as her nails grow out. And now onto our favorite part, our color. My client couldn't pick one color as she liked all of them, therefore today we will be creating a design in these beautiful olive colors. I am coating the second layer immediately on all four nails and using only the bottles brush. What a beautiful combination of colors. Over these beautiful colors, my client has chosen some cute nail decals. But before we add those, I am taking a black gel paint and a rather thick brush and adding some decorative details. I really wanted to use the little fig details, maybe because they just look so tasty. However, they won't really go with today's design, so we've chosen something else. After I have cut out these small details, I am placing them on a sponge moistened in water, and in the meantime, I am coating her nails in a thin layer of a base coat. I am letting those cure underneath the lamp and then further with my nail file, taking care of any excess on the edges. Next, I'm coating her nails in two top coats. The first top coat will be glossy and the second in a matte finish. And here they are. My client loved this simple yet stylish design, and the decals were a lot of fun. If you liked today's video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.